Hello Supers, I'm Inka once a free welcome you back to Pokemon Shield Grass Type Only Run. In the last episode, we won against the uh, the fourth gym leader, Alistair, the ghost type gym leader. It was a close call, actually. Well If it weren't for what I tried to set up, if I wouldn't have set things up just right in a way to help me out, I don't think I would have won. And I think Fluffy was also the big help since it didn't use the poison move. But work! Anyway, this episode, we're moving forward. Looks like my Yamper really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into each other at a good time. You know, the memorial here in Stow on Side is said to tell the story of the Gala Hero as well. Though the here today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insights, so I was wondering if you might uh, think when you see the ruins. Kaboom! What, what in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Let's have a look. Come on, Yamper. Uh-oh. Looks like we might have some twobbles. And yes, as you can see on the bottom left, it's showing that wacky evolved. It wasn't obvious on the layout, and plus the fact if you actually saw the last episode. What's going on up there? I figured you'd be up there. Max Revive, solid. Right then, let's work our way up and see what's going on. It's B-Day. This a-hole. Destroy it! Destroy it all! We're gonna find those wishing stars. We gotta bring Chairman more of the wishing stars if we want to please him. Kapo Raja! If you're truly the Chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him. Find those wishing stars. Uh, he's gone over the top. Uh, are we good here? Yeah, I'm gonna start this with Rillaboom. Rillaboom evolved in last episode and I didn't even use him once. Oh my, you again? So, you think you could start collecting wishing stars now and get on the chairman's favor? That's the way of things, isn't it? I see, so you do have some cunning in you. But I won't. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. And we battle him, of course. Mide wants to fight. Well, battle. Dil Dujan. Whatever, I can never say this Pokemon's name. Okay, this Pokemon is pretty strong, but pretty frail. A drum beating should finish it. Oh, and it's also very slow. Whee! Get whipped! Bye bye. <laughs> It's a vault form though, it's super solid. I'll give it that. We're all level 36, which is solid levels. I shouldn't need to use any candies for a bit. Hatteram, the evolved form of his... basically his starter Pokemon. Yeah, you should shudder. I do have a dark move, but I'm not using it. Drop beating! Boom, 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 boom. You do survive, but barely. What is it? Side beam! Oh. <laughs> okay, let's just do some knockoff. Super potion. Whatever. Let's see how much this will do. Boop. Ooh, probably should have used that instead of drum beating. <laughs> Alrighty then, and then the next Pokemon is Gotharita. The evolved form of Gotita. I'm just gonna use knockoff. I proved to be powerful. Not, pow not powerful enough though. Oh that's right! There is actually a dark move I can now teach to Rillaboom! That's way more powerful than knockoff. How'd I forget this? I'm gonna teach it to him after this battle. Sorry, but me and my Rillaboom are going to beat you to oblivion. Ponyta, the Galarian version, psychic type, still absolutely pathetic. I say that because they didn't change its stats whatsoever. For a psychic, and then when it evolves, a psychic fairy type, 
Its special attack is pathetic. Its physical attack is uh, oh, just over 100. My special attack is like in the 60 to 70 base. It's so stupid. Why not change its base stats to change its physical attack stat base into its special attack stat? Then it actually would have been a decent Pokemon in my opinion. It's so lame. But why? How can this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was to defeat the champion. I was the one... I'm the one the elite saw someone to shudder the future Galar region. Challenger BD. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to bar borrow the chairman's rose's copper Raja. I can't believe you tried to use the chairman's Pokemon to, to destroy a historical site. Who cares about some ancient ruins when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in, stand in the path of a Pokemon's simple beam or something? How do you expect to support the chairman with that sort of thinking? Young BD. It pains me to have to say this, but I'm truly disappointed. It's true that I was the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to the trainer's school and gave you a chance at success. But trying to destroy a, a memorial, part of Galar's history, you show no love toward Galar. You truly are not worthy of the challenge of the of the gym challenge. Worthy challenger. We'll decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hamlock. You, you must be joking, right? You disqualified me from the gym challenge? But you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenger B-Day will be taking those wishing stars you have gathered. Oh, Sonya, and Hope too. It's a terrible shame of all this. An absolute disaster. I never wished to see us lose challenges for this sort of reason. And yet we must do what we do to keep things fair and sportmanlike. You know, during one of B-Day's matches, I heard that the announcer say B-Day had no family. Apparently it was Rose that took B-Day under his wings so B-Day was battling for the chairman's sake. What an awful turn of events. I hope the memorial, the, the memorial survived all that. This game's version of a cutscene. Silence. By the way, that's something I really do hope in uh, the Generation 9 they change. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought... But the ruins were brought into a light for us to see. What does it tell us about the Gala's legend? Pokemon? Right. More than any hero, those things appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? Uh... The heroes? A good observation. There really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why is there only one statue in the Badoo drop-in? More than any statue of a hero, an old tra tra tapestry, the ruins made by truly ancient times must show the real truth. Which means... The shield is a Pokémon. Yep, that's why I was thinking the same thing. Seems that at some point in history, the Sword and Shield were combined into two actual Pokemon treated as the same thing. But then what? Did they just fade from history? Two young heroes, the Sword and Shield, were actually Pokemon. But why was the truth? Uh, but why would the truth of those runes be hidden when the stories were descriptive in artwork? 
With your help, I feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks. I'll give you a couple of these to keep you going. Give it your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Oi, two revives. Man, I've spoken enough, please. Can we stop? Oh, deep breath. <coughs> but yes, looks like we discovered something here. Now, for that TM, I, well, TR, I was going to teach Rillaboom. Very good one as well. The Darkest Lariat. You can learn it as a Rillaboom. Goodbye, knockoff. And now that Rillaboom's actually evolved, and as you can tell, you can learn something new, I'm going to have a quick peek through the moves and see if there's anything new I could teach him. You can learn Body Press. That could be good. Actually, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, physical Defense isn't that good. Maybe not. Ah! I hate when that happens. High horsepower! Away! You sure, I'll teach you that. That could be good. Give me a bit of coverage. Let's get rid of facade. Alright, that'll do. I taught it Darkest Lariat and High Horsepower. Alright then, we are now going to mark our way to the next town. There's a couple of trainers in that in our way, but that's not that bad. How about we use... Actually, you know what? No, I want to use Fluffy. I want Fluffy to get some effort values. So we'll use Fluffy throughout this whole ne this entire episode to get it a bunch of effort values from the, tra from the trainers. I think we're good, we don't need to heal, so let's just move straight on into the forest. Whee! We came in here before, but this... It, oh, for goodness sake. This is the Glimwood Tangle. And we're off to Bellinora. So we're going to explore around here and I might sk uh, cut out the trainers because I just don't think these are going to be that important. If I get any levels, I'll show the levels, but I'll probably just cut these out. So, beep. Potentially. <coughs> or I might just keep them in and speed them up. I might do that actually instead. Energy ball! Acid armor. <coughs> Should not say. Yeah, I figured that wouldn't do much. <coughs> this is going to turn into a slow battle. Solid hit. <coughs> Critical hit, overkill. Sinistry. <sighs> oh, 
Well, that ends that trainer. Alright then, we're gonna work our way around here. Watch out for any wild Pokemon, so I just don't really want to battle. There sells an item. A brag of bright powder. That lowers accuracy for the opponents when the Pokemon that's holding it. That could be useful. Except all our Pokemon are holding stuff that I'm alright with them holding. Hmm. Yeah, that'll... Uh, that's fine. I'm actually going to quickly heal up, guys. Give me a moment. Not Pokeballs. Okay. I thought there was a hidden item there, but I guess not. But yeah, you can actually click on these mushrooms to brighten the area temporarily. I actually think that's a really cool effect. Big root. Oh, this actually... Uh, I want this on on the uh, fluffy. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, this here. Uh, the HP of the holder restores from... A an item helper poker. It boosts the amount of HP the holder restores from HP stealing moves. So since Fluffy actually does have Giga Drain, Big Root would give me back more health, more HP, than it does normally. So that's actually pretty solid. I'm going to ignore those two for a moment. We're going to head off this way and grab this TM24 Snore. Okay, we're going to battle this trainer here, though. After I grab this. Two Hyper Potions. Nice. Alright then, as I said before, if there's any levels, I'll cut it in. If not, see you at the end. Or, if I might just speed it up from this point. Judy! Indeedy! Go shoot, Indeedy! Okay, Indeedy's a normal psychic type. Oh, she's energy ball. <coughs> Summing voice. Let's go for Giga Drain! Psybeam. Indeed, he is down. 37, 37! Very nice. And another Indeedy. Let's just go for Dazzling Gleam. <coughs> and I think Energy Ball would do more damage. Health is low though, so I think I'm gonna go for that Giga Drain. That is a decent amount of HP. But you know what? I think leftovers might actually be better overall. Yeah, I think I'll switch it back. <coughs> I think that was her last Pokemon. Ferrisseed also got to level 37. Very nice. Judy is defeated. Whew. Alright. With Judy Tootie, down and outie, I'm gonna heal up again, and I've actually changed my mind. I'm giving leftovers back to Fluffy. I think that might be better overall. Alright, now I'm done doing all that. Oh, don't jump down there. Let's go over here and into a wild battle. Oh no. We are to jump down. Nope, we go this way. Wild battle with what you see up there. More grim. See, so I've all four of the little fairy that I haven't really encountered, but oh well. The small ones actually, I do believe, called Impedent. These are a pretty cool Pokemon, and I think they're based off like the gremlins in a way. I do find it weird that they're also fairy types. I don't know why you call gremlins fairies. I 
I could have sworn they're supposed to be like opposites. Yeah, fairies and gremlins. I could have sworn they were like opposites. Like gremlins were like evil magic creatures and whatnot. I'm not sure. I could be completely wrong there. Anyway, Morgrim's down. I know I didn't need to fight it, but I wanted to give Fluffy some extra effort values. Okay, I got a hidden item here. Lumios Moss. If held by the Pokemon, it's boosted special defense if hit by a water type move. Only could be used once. Alright. TM56, you turn! That could be good. I'll think about it. That could be useful against certain Pokemon. There's the way out, but we left two trainers behind. This double battle, which I do remember. I think I'll keep Fluffy out, and we're going to put Lunicolo in as well. Let's have these two be our dynamic duo. I came to ride the Gala train. I wonder if meeting you will change my life. The railways are amazing. They carry lots of people and Pokemon at once. I'm actually going to talk this battle, because this is actually the last battle for this episode. They're couples. They got Curlia and Ninetales. This is actually like one of the toughest battles you'll come across up to this point as well. Because they're pretty actually strong. Curlia's got Swift Swim now due to Trace. See, 34. They're actually really decently strong. Alright, let's see. I'm going to go for Energy Ball on Curlia, and we're going to scold that Ninetales. That did a fair amount of damage. Ninetales uses Incinerate, which hits us both. Luckily, because it's a, a hit smoke, it actually also decreases the damage, so I'm not too concerned. And Ninetales is out. I'm actually surprised Ninetales got knocked out by that, because Ninetales is pretty good in special defense. Oh well, I guess this was easier than usual. No, seriously, this battle is actually almost sometimes annoying to me. I'm surprised I did this pretty easily. I'll just use Giga Drain to finish off Curlia. Doesn't matter what's going on with Lunicolo. It's confused. This battle's done. <laughs> See, there's only one Pokemon left on my entire team that can evolve right now, and he isn't evolving for another three levels. <laughs> yeah, no joke. Ferrocede evolves at level 40. So, we ain't getting Thorough Thorn till after this gym, more than likely. Okay then, here we go. Into the next town! Balan- uh, Bella Lee, or whatever. I called it Bella Nora before, that's not right. Okay then. We're going to explore around this town, grab any items that are lying around. I could have sworn there was one around here, but I guess not. We've got these two here. They don't really give you anything, this little girl on the rock. I'd, I'd say that's kind of dangerous, but hopefully the Inke will protect her. Okay, let's go in here. By the way, remember that old letter that we got from the little girl? You're looking for Frank? That'd be me, yes. What's this? You got a letter addressed to me. You handed the old letter to the old man. Now, who could be sending me letters? Oh, why is this? Is it from Paula? Well, that takes me back ages. Paula was the name of the girl I spent all my time with playing when I was a young lad. Uh-oh, she fell ill. Didn't tell me, though. She kept the secret of just how sick she was. We ended up having a great row about it. Then I moved away not long after that fight. I never met her again after the day I left. How was she? Did she look well, dear old Paula? Uh, What? The quiet type are you? Meowth got your tongue. I reckon you ought to give you something for this, uh, the gift you brought me. Ah, God damn it. But yes, that little girl. She was a ghost. She died back when she was a child from her illness. Um, Let's go and tell her we delivered the letter.
Right away, off to go and see a ghost girl! Again! Yay! What's this? She's gone! Spooky! Okay, now we got one last thing I want to grab in this episode that will actually help Ferroseed be super good for a little bit. At least until it evolves. We talk to this person here, it'll actually be a battle. Eleanor. Eleanor. Doppler. Bug Psychic type. Go Fluffy! Okay, this shouldn't be that bad. I'll see you at the end of this battle. It's not much. <coughs> Level 38. That was actually a little bit of a close battle for Rillaboom. And by beating her, we get... The Aviolite. This is actually a pretty useful item for Pokemon that haven't evolved yet. This here raises both defense and special defense for a Pokemon that can still evolve. So I'm going to give this to Ferroseed. And I'm actually going to change Rillaboom's item. Because I think just powering up its grass moves is not that good anymore. I'm going to give it the Muscle Band. An item held by a Pokemon, if the headband... Uh, it's going to slightly boost in the power of physical moves. Rillaboom has some strong moves that are all physical. So, let's give him an item that will benefit all of his attacks and not just grass types. Rillaboom can learn U-turn. That could be good for him, actually. Another physical move. Hold on. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's get rid of Screech. U-turn could actually give me a little bit of more strategy options here, so I'll teach him that. Alright, we just powered up our team quite a bit more with that. Ferrosi can now take more damage. Rillaboom's attacks are all powered up and got a new, different type move. Really nice. We just got rest. I think there is, yep, a hidden iron right here. A bow mushroom. Good for selling. And we are done. Hope you guys will enjoy it in the next episode. As you can see over there, we're going to take on the next gym, the Fairy Gym. See you! No spins, we're done.